Hello and welcome to tribetopper.com. And in this video, we are going to discuss some of the past paper questions for CBSE Grade Ten. So here's my first question. It says, if the image formed by a spherical mirror for all positions of the object placed in front of it is always erect and diminished, what type of mirror is it? And draw a labeled diagram. So our question says that if we get a virtual and erect image and a diminished image all the time. So it's an erect and a diminished image no matter wherever you place the object. Then what type of mirror is it? So we would write since the image is always it's given that since the image is always erect and diminished. So if you remember, you get erect and magnified image for a concave mirror, but for a convex mirror, we always get an erect and diminished image. So since the image is always erect and diminished for the given mirror in the question, the mirror is a convex mirror, right? So that mirror is a convex mirror. And now we'll draw the labeled diagram for this mirror and show how the image is formed. So here is the diagram. We can show that AB, this is the object and we always show two rays. Uh, we draw two ray diagram. So first ray is going parallel to the principal axis. So after reflection from the convex mirror, it will appear to be coming from the focus at this point. And the other ray we take to be passing through the center of curvature. So that appears to be, re when it is reflected back, it retraces its path and it appears to be coming from the center of curvature. And so the image is formed here where the rays intersect, right? And this image is always erect. And as you can see, it is always diminished. So therefore, the image formed by a convex mirror is always erect and diminished and we can show that by this diagram. So our next question reads that analyze the following observation table showing variation of image distance with the object distance. So here we are given a table. See in this column we are given the object distance that's u and in this one we are given the image distance that is v. So after looking at this table, they say question, uh, the first part says without calculations predict the focal length of the lens. So how can you predict the focal length of the lens without calculations? So for the first part, I would say when you look at the table, this is one observation where the object distance and the image distance are same. This is that position of the object for which the size of the image and object are also same and that is 2f, right? So it means your object is placed at 2f in front of the mirror. And so the image is formed at a distance 2f behind the mirror. So if 2f is 40 centimeters, then what is f? Obviously, therefore f is equal to 20 centimeter and that is the focal length. So we don't use any other formula to calculate the focal length here. We just look at the observation that the object distance and the image distance are same only and only when the object is placed at 2f from the pole of the mirror. So 2f is 40 that gives us f directly as 20 centimeter. The second question says which observation is not correct? And why? So we are given some observations here and they say which observation is not correct. Clearly, if you look at this one, six observation, it says object distance is minus 15, then image distance is plus 120. So we have to recall that when the object distance is 15 or minus 15, that means it is less than the focal length. So the object in this case lies between the focal uh, focus and the pole. So the object lies between the focus and the pole. Then where is the image formed? It is a virtual erect and enlarged image formed on the same side of the, uh, of the mirror. Therefore, this sign should have been 
negative. So with plus 120 that means it is showing the image is formed behind the mirror which is not possible if the object has been placed between the focus and the pole. Therefore this observation is wrong. Now they say with a suitable scale draw the diagram for second observation and evaluate the magnification for this case. So our second observation is minus 60 and plus 30. So your object distance is minus 60 and image distance is plus 30. So we can draw the ray diagram. So let's do it. And before we draw the ray diagram, just take care that for this given convex lens, they say we have to draw it for the second observation that is minus 60. We calculated the focal length to be 20, right? Minus 20 centimeters. Therefore, if the object is placed at minus 60, that means this is a point which lies beyond 2f. So let's draw the ray diagram accordingly. So first of all, for this convex lens, we shall draw the principal axis, which is passing through the optical center. So that's a straight line passing through the optical center. And here we can say the object, let it be placed at. So if this is the point F, then this is 2F. The object lies here, right? So here is my object. And from this object, we'll draw two rays, one which is parallel to the principal axis. And as per the rules of ray diagram, any ray which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction through the lens, it will pass through the focus. And the other ray we can take to be straight away passing through the optical center. So we'll take it to be passing from here. And so the object or the rays, they meet somewhere here. So at this point, the image is formed. So AB is the object and the two rays that are going, one uh, passing parallel to the principal axis, later after refraction passes through the focus and the other one which is passing through the optical center goes straight and the two rays intersect to form the image here as A dash B dash. So when the object is placed at 60 centimeters that is beyond 2F, my image is formed at 30 centimeters that is between F and 2F behind the lens, right? So this image formed is real, inverted and as you can see it is a diminished image. So this is the case when your object lies beyond 2f in front of a convex lens. So I hope you understood how to draw the ray diagram and if you find this video helpful please follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at tribetopper.com.